Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. Um, this is uh, an upgrade I did to this Lincoln 3200 HD, which is essentially just a Lincoln 140. As you can see in the front, the gun goes through this tread aluminum that I cut because I had to cut all the plastic out. This is for the trigger. There's a grommet here. And then this is the ground clamp. I put a, you know, one of those, I don't know, I guess they call them Tweco connections or, or whatever, European ones. So you can switch them out, you know, with my other welder. Um, I have an HTP gun. It's one of those flex gooseneck ones. Oh, it's 15 foot instead of the 12 foot. And this is the drive roll system that I replaced. This is the plastic, and it has a smaller drive rolls with the set screw. Those drive rolls wear out fast, and uh, this mode is half the size of the upgraded one. Um, this is the new drive roll system. As you can see, it's all aluminum. And it has a wire guide on it. It has a simple system for changing out the dry, dry rolls. You just turn this little nut type thing. And the dry rolls pop right off. And I had to cut the sheet metal out over here so that this would fit in. Now, it wasn't no major modifications or anything like that, but... You know, it was a little bit of work. I added this grommet here because this wire normally comes off the top, like on the 180. So I had to switch it so that it, it fed through the back, and it's on the other side. And then I just put a grommet and brought it through because these are your connections right here. You know, you got your positive and your negative. And when you're using flux core wire, you know, it's uh, electronegative, I believe they call it. Um, you have to swap them, but here's the ground lug for the back of those uh, the, uh, DIN connectors or Tweco, I forget what they call them. I mean, it's a nice little unit, but this drive roll system is so much nicer. You know, you don't, it doesn't slip, it doesn't get caught up. Like, yeah, I have no issues with it. It just works flawlessly, and that's on my 180. So now I have it on the 140. But you're probably saying, why did you even waste your time? You know, but it's worth it. It's a nice little unit. Let me show how it works. And here it is. See, pull the trigger. Just works flawlessly. Now, the other one that was originally on it, I had nothing but issues with it. You know, it was constantly, you know, jamming up and slipping. And it drove me insane. So... Because I have this drive roll system on my 180, I, I figured, what the heck, I'll order that. You know, I found the part number online, which I'll show you right here. This is your part number, the 9SL12379-3. That's the unit. And it came from WCTA, which is just Lincoln. It's another one of their companies. But I ordered it. it, took about a week for it to come in, and then I installed it. Like I said, anyone with a little bit of knowledge will have no issue modifying this. Now you're saying to yourself, why did he even waste his time? Yeah, I mean, to the average person, they probably would say, why did I waste my time? But I've had this welder for about 12 years. It's a good little welder. It's good for sheet metal work. It's good for fencing. Like, it's a decent welder. Now, I mean, I could have went out, bought, you know, a new welder or one of those Hopper Freight jobs. But uh, I like Lincoln. Lincoln makes nice stuff. And like I said, I already had money into it for the gun and everything else. So I figured I'd just modify it. That unit's uh, so I think it's 190 bucks, but 
It comes with the drive roll. And like I said, uh, I've had no issues, zero, on my 180. This thing constantly had problems with it. So it was well worth, you know, upgrading it. Now, I don't even know if the new ones come with this system anymore. The, you know, this cheap system. Maybe they all come this way now. I'm, I'm not even sure. This is just something I wanted to do. And, uh, you know, I use this welder here and there. Not all the time. You know, like I said, you're not going to be welding no half-inch steel with it. But... You know, it's nice because you can plug it into like a 20 amp outlet, a 30 amp outlet with a nice heavy extension cord. And I mean, you know, I have 16 gauge, 18 gauge steel, no problem. You know, I, I've done a lot of work with fencing with it. And it's never failed me. You know, I don't need the gas or anything like that. But, you know, for me, it worked out. You know, if you own one of these... And you like the little unit, you know, maybe you don't have 220, but you hate the drive roll system. You know, this may be an option for you. So, I mean, if you have any questions, just ask. I mean, I'll, I'll see if I can help you, you know. But, alright, I'm out. Bye.